and make a mistake. A little too much of this, a little too little of that. And your cooking triumph can turn to tragedy. Hey everyone, it's Tuesday. It may not be Tuesday when you're watching this, but happy Tuesday anyways. I'm out and about on Tuesdays for most of the day, so I wanted to meal prep this morning. Otherwise, I'm not cranky pants hangry when I get home. So today I'm going to meal prep a chicken breast with sweet potato. I'm gonna be having that on a bed of greens and rice. I know, do I sound like a broken record yet? Cause nourishment bowls are the shit. I don't like to call them rice bowls necessarily because you might not have rice. A lot of people call them Buddha bowls. Nourishment bowls is where it's at for me. I'm going to link below an Instagram post that I made on a chart for exactly how to build your nourishment bowl. It's beautiful. It's so easy. So the basics of it. First, you pick a grain. I'm partial to quinoa or 100% whole grain brown rice. You prep the grains, put the grains in the bottom of the bowl, then you choose a green. So you could have mixed greens, spinach, kale, whatever suits your fancy. Mix that in with the rice and then on top I like to decide between squash or sweet potato. So I today I chose sweet potato. And then you have some veggies. So I'm going to use steamed asparagus, but you could use peas if you want. Just pick some kind of green veggie, broccoli. I like to keep it green. As long as you're having veggies, that's okay, but green veggies have the most calcium, the most detoxifying effects, keeps your body the most alkaline because cancer cannot live in an alkaline body, okay? And then you pick your protein. So if you're a veggie, you could use black beans, refried beans. I like to use that a lot. Today, I'm going to use chicken. Sometimes I use beef. And then whatever sauce. When I do a chicken bowl like today, I'm going to be using Greek yogurt or whatever yogurt, goat yogurt is better for you. The protein strain is a lot closer to humans. So I'm going to be using yogurt that I mix a little bit of lime juice into as well as a bunch of fresh dill. Ixnay on the fresh A there because I'm gonna use dill from the spice thing, realizing I don't have fresh dill today. But that makes a really nice homemade tzatziki. Uh, so I'm gonna be using that, a little bit of hot sauce. Uh, the chicken will be cooked with turmeric. It is the most anti-inflammatory spice that exists. Cumin, because cumin blasts fat off your body. Paprika, same reasons as both of the above. Garlic powder, if you want to see what each of these spices do, please click the link in the description box about the other meal prep video I did, because I did use the same spices in that video and I explained them a lot more in detail. So, let's go. Little tip, highly recommend using parchment paper on your cookie sheets. Do not broil with parchment paper because you will start a fire. I said, oh Lord Jesus, it's a fire. The sweet potato chunks are gonna go in for 20 minutes at 450 degrees. That does make the parchment paper crispy, so live on the edge. I walk on the wild side. I laugh in the face of danger. <laughs> a lot of people do put the sweet potato in a bowl and cover them with oil. I find because I'm meal prepping them, meaning I'm gonna have a whole bunch, I don't want to put oil on them because I find they get very, very soggy that way. When you are putting meal prepped veggies or anything like that in the fridge, even if it's meat, doesn't matter, put some paper towel in the container with it because that way the moisture doesn't overwhelm the food and it stays fresher for longer. It's no secret that the best thing about a secret is secretly telling someone your secret, thereby secretly adding another secret to their secret collection of secrets. Secretly. So those are in the oven. They're going to take 20 minutes. That only makes two meals. One sweet potato I use for two meals. I decided I don't want to keep prepping like four meals because I do work from home usually. I'm always home. So just because today's a random day that I'm out, I think I'm going to have the same thing for lunch and dinner. Um, I will vary up my snacks today though because you don't want to be eating the same things day in day out for your pancreas. So anyhow, 20 minutes. Let's get the chicken on. I was just going <laughs> to This is so funny. So I'm going to cut up my asparagus. I am having six stalks of asparagus with each meal. I'm gonna put those in the pan to steam them because I want the chicken done in the instant pot. It's way faster, it's way cleaner, way more efficient. So I'm gonna chop up the asparagus and steam it up in the pan. I'm also gonna use minced garlic. So I buy this, mm -mm, organic minced garlic. 
because then I'm gonna have to do a lot of work. So I'm gonna put that in the pan. I developed an intolerance to onions, otherwise I would use onions as well. Garlic, asparagus. I'm using butter as well. What's a macro? A macro are the three main macro ingredients. Biggest, most important ones, fats, proteins, and carbs. Carbs can be anything that never had a set of eyes, so let's include veggies in the carb department too, okay? All you're gonna do is put all these ingredients in the pan, mix it around, and then you add a little bit of water into the pan, throw the lid on, and that water is going to steam up these veg ease. There. Okay, we're gonna go back to the chicken. Now that the asparagus is steaming, let's do this chicken up. So these are organic chicken breasts. You do not want to be eating conventional meat. Don't mind about the cost, because if you are eating organic whole foods, especially in the meat department, your body is going to need 30 to 60% less food than when you were eating the conventional stuff. Two chicken breasts for me usually makes about three meals. I like to use about four ounces per meal. I find that to be satiating. Conventional meats have a lot of antibiotics and hormones and other just crap in them. And eventually, with the antibiotics, if we need antibiotics one day, there is a place for them. Some situations you need them as best as it is to avoid. Uh, our bodies become resistant to those antibiotics over time. That's no good. We don't need extra hormones. That's no good. I have helped a lot of women that have PCOS by... It's a polycystic... Raw chicken in the face. That's a polycystic ovarian syndrome. Um, I've helped a lot of them by switching them to only organic meats. So cumin, paprika, Garlic powder and turmeric, very anti-inflammatory. Okay, so in here is a trivet. You don't need a tall legged one, you can use a shorty. I'm going to put a cup of water. If you want it more delicious, use broth. Chicken broth, bone broth, veggie broth, doesn't matter. Makes rice and chicken far more delicious. I don't have any broth right now. Okay. Chicken's going in. On top of the trivet, the cup of water is sitting just below the trivet, so there is no water touching the chicken. I swear when I cook chicken, I wash my hands about 100,000 times. All right, lid goes on. See these cupboards? How the Instant Pot normally sits under the cupboard. So when I cook it, I have to put it out because that steam valve there can damage the underside of your wood cupboards. Take it out. I saw a genius hack online, genius, where somebody took a, a pipe, PVC pipe, whatever you call it, on this and it came out from under their cupboard. What? That's genius. Haven't got my own pipe yet, but I'm planning on it. Okay, I'm gonna plug this guy in. Uh, all right. So you want the valve to sealed and I'm gonna press manual for, I'm gonna go 11 minutes, okay? And then I leave that. Dunzo. I do want to say that the Instant Pot will take about 10 minutes to get up to pressure. So, even though your food does cook sort of instantly, it takes about 10 minutes to get up to speed on that before it can cook. So I'm just tidying up a bit. Everything's already cleaned up. This meal, it's going to take me less than 20 minutes to make the entire shebang. So I'm going to prep the rice now. I'm also going to prep the salad bits, but only for my lunch because otherwise it's gonna get soggy and gross by the time my dinner rolls around. Okay, so let's have a look, see here. These sweet potatoes are all done. Yeah, the paper got a little crispy. The asparagus, woo, steaming away, looking gorgeous. With butter and garlic, oh God, so delicious. And the rice, I'm trying to catch it before it boils. I have the worst habit of letting it overflow, overboil. So the Instant Pot can do pot in pot rice. I'm always finding I'm using the Instant Pot for the grossest parts of the meal, so like the chicken or if there's a crap ton of veggies, not that that's gross, but a lot of veggies I like to use the Instant Pot for. So I haven't used it yet for pot in pot. I heard that using Pyrex glass bowls inside was maybe not the best idea. I don't really know why. Also, some people use the little metal bowls if you have any idea on what I could use on the inside of the Instant Pot for pot and pot rice, comment. So many pots in that sentence, I can't 
get a grip on what's happening in my brain. So comment below and let me know what you use or what you think might be a good idea. Um, I also need a pair of those pot retriever things. I don't know if you can only get those online. Anyway, let me know if you know. And I'll be back to show you what it looks like all pieced together. All right, so everything has been cooked that I'm putting into this bowl. Here's the bowl. So right now there's asparagus, rice, mixed greens, sweet potato, and some garlic that was cooked with the asparagus, and some chopped tomato. So I want, that is the gorgeous anti-inflammatory fat burning chicken breast from the Instant Pot. I want four ounces. Here's how I'm going to make sure that there are four ounces of chicken. To zero out the scale, make sure the scale is off. Put said container of whatever you're putting the chicken in on the scale. On goes the scale. Grams, kilograms. I don't understand that ounce one. Let's just use this ounce one. Okay, so I am going to put chicken into my bowl until it reads four ounces. I'm doing this left-handed. Very strange, but works. And how is that? How is that little piece of chicken so heavy? Use a tinier one. Boop. Bam! Four ounces. Wicked. And then I'm going to show you the sauce. I don't know if you know anyone involved with Pampered Chef. I personally am not. However, I was gifted these Pampered Chef bowls. My yogurt's in here already. They've got, dang, can you see that? The measurements on them, they go up to three quarter cups. They've all got these little travel lids. <sighs> I use them for traveling, for measuring, freaking amazing. Got my yogurt in that little cup. It, this is some organic dill weed. Super duper not focusing, but that's fine. So we're gonna put the dill weed in here left-handed again. Let me see if I can make this a little more efficient. So I'm gonna add this to the dish later because it's coming traveling with me. That's it. Completely forgot to mention, I'm also adding in a quarter cup of, this is, a dry cottage cheese which is very hard to find you could use feta which is goat and sheep cheese they also make strictly goat feta it's way less inflammatory to the body than cow dairy so here's my quarter cup of cheese that I will mix in properly later whoop there we go maybe if you guys could actually see what I was doing that's it I hope you enjoyed today's nourishment bowl meal prep I will get more creative once my schedule slows down a bit. I've also been tossing around the idea of not doing a video every single day. It will be one a week minimum though, mostly every day and then maybe a couple a week. But anyway, if you like the one a day, comment below if you feel as though doing one a week or a couple a week is not a good idea for the fans, let me know. Uh, so if you thought this video was helpful, informative, or interesting, or entertaining in any way, please give it a thumbs up for me down there, like said video, and please subscribe to the channel. Subscriptions are where the support really does come from. Please share this channel with people. There is info in here for everyone. It could help anybody. And if you would like notifications of when future videos are posted, please hit that little bell icon down there and you will get a notification each time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have super amounts of fun in your life. Have super amounts of fun today and I'll see you soon. Bye.